Howdy y'all. That's right. Voodoo here coming at you. Except for not really voodoo. Saw this thing crawling up the leg of my chair as I came out to smoke a, smoke a pipe. And I realized I haven't shown y'all the dreaded pus moth. I showed you what it could do to my finger the other day. That little son of a gun right there. You see all those little hairs? Poison. Pure poison. Okay. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to show this very well. You see right there what it did to my hand? All those dots were all and it itches like fire itches. In fact, you can see pretty good. There's several spots on there. Uh, each one of those spots is a spot where one of those monster penetrated my hand. Why do I call it a little monster? Let me show you something for size comparison. That's right. That little beauty is about the same size as the spoon on a check tool. As you can see, he's just moving around having a good time, waiting for the unexpecting person to sit down, or then he'll crawl up on their leg and sting the ever-loving fire out of them. Needless to say, I kill all of them I can find. Hey, let's look at his belly. Oh, look at him just turn right on over. Oh, wasn't no big deal. He only flipped. Little oak leaves. He's smaller than an oak leaf. Here, watch him go. Yeah, but we're going to screw with him a little bit. I like the way he screws with me. And for those of you who think this is going to be one of those nature shows where we let the uh, bad caterpillar go and live and whatever else, nope. This is really not one of those kind of shows. This some bitch is going to die. Don't feel bad. You get stung by one of these things, you'll feel plenty bad enough. Uh, and in fact, there's one of his friends. And that's about to be what's going to happen to him. Squish him flat and let the ants eat him. But voodoo, aren't you a nice nature-loving person? Uh, you know... I'm nice to nature <sighs> until nature ain't nice to me and I'm gonna tell you you ain't gonna see me be nice to a javelina either oh look there he is he's dead y'all don't have to like me for that but you get stung by one of these things and you're gonna kill every last one of them you can find too don't believe me I dare you to attempt it. In fact, we'll call it the Puss Moth Challenge. Hey, look at this. There's one up on the brick just high enough I can't reach him. He's about twice the size of the one that I just smashed flat. But when he gets down here low enough, I'm going to knock him off and I'm going to stomp on him too. <sighs> Oh yeah, I'm waiting for them all day to happen. But 
You don't have to like it. You can go away thinking I'm cruel to animals. There's more of these sons of bitches out here than there are of me. I can't kill enough of them. And what they do to your hand, well, trust me, you can't kill enough of them either after the first one. Anyways, this is Wild Tangent for Voodoo Review, telling y'all, long lives, big bowls, and long ashes. Y'all take care, and we'll see you soon.